Yo guys, what's up? It's Adam here, aka the Cena Guy. I want to continue with my playlist of all the WWE superstars that I've met. WWE Divas, Hall of Famers, Legends, or anything, anyone involved with WWE. Right, we've come up to the stage now where I've got to talk about meeting Sonny, <laughs> Tabby Lynn Cinch. Okay, now I'm not going to come on here and start throwing insults. I'm not going to come on here to try and hurt some of Sonny's fans because I know she's got a lot of fans all over the world. I'm not here to take sides of people. I'm not here to... Not to fucking cause chaos. All right. <laughs> because I know there's a lot of people who are going to watch this video for obvious reasons. And uh, I'm not going to start taking sides of people here online and get debates going, um, war games and all that kind of shit. I just want to talk about the time I met Sonny. I've met Sonny twice. And I want to talk about the time when I met her the first time. I prefer not to talk about it when I met her for the second time because it wasn't a very good experience. But when I um, met her for the first time, everything was fine. And as you can see in the photograph of me and Sunny together at the start of this review, I was over the moon with the photograph, how it turned out, you know, I'm staying next to her, Sunny looks beautiful in the, in the photograph. And um, that's the way I want to remember things, you know, how Sunny was like, you know, when I met her on this particular day. Um, four people were um, advertised to appear at the Birmingham NEC Arena to sign autographs. That was Sonny, Dormarie, Scott Hall and Ted DiBiase um, Senior. And I met all four of those people and it was a good experience. Um, I would say the most talkative person of the four people would have to be Dormarie. But um, in regards to Sonny, she was... She was polite enough. I mean, she, she even asked me what my name was, and I told her my name. And she put the name on the autograph, so she personalised the autograph. And when it came to the photograph, um, usually you have to pay, you know, to have selfies took with the stars and everything. But in this case, it wasn't it wasn't like that. I mean, usually you got to pay, pay money, you know, to have selfies with the stars and all that. Well, sometimes it's not allowed. But when I asked Sonny, can I have a selfie took with you? She says, yeah. she said, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> so we had a selfie took with each other. And um, as you saw at the start of this video, that's how the picture turned out. It turned out fine. So I'm not going to come on here and say Sunny was rude or she was like, you know, not a nice person to me because she was a nice person to meet. Um, like I said, I had a personalised autograph, you know, and she let me have a selfie took with them for free. When I had to have a selfie talk with Tim DiBiase, I had to pay for it at Scott Hall. But when it came to Dawn Marie and um, Sonny, they both let me have it for free. So, got no complaints there, you know. So, I'm not going to come on here and say that it was a dreadful experience meeting Sonny for the first time. Um, you know, I got everything that I wanted. You know, I got an autograph, I got a selfie. And yet, at the end of the day, I couldn't ask for more. So, I was pleased with the experience and that's all I'm going to say. Okay, I'm not here. I'm not going to start talking about what's going on in the real world with Tammy Lynn Sinch, you know, because it's not the right thing to do. And that's why I'm going to end this video here. It's short and sweet. It's not like we have reviews where they are lengthy in time. I'm going to go before people start getting upset, you know. So um, please leave a comment, everybody. And, um, you know, if you've got any questions, thanks for watching this, everybody. And have a nice day. Peace out.